In the heart of North America, you'll witness nature's most mesmerizing spectacle. A remarkable journey of epic proportion is about to begin. The monarch butterfly, a delicate and colorful creature, embarks on a voyage like no other. A journey that spans thousands of miles and takes it to a distant and mysterious destination. This journey is a testament to the incredible navigational abilities of these insects, as they employ a combination of environmental cues, celestial navigation, and innate instincts to reach their final destination. Join us as we unveil the secrets, science, and sheer wonder of these delicate creatures' passage and be inspired as they extend their wings of wonder in order to undertake one of the world's most astonishing epic odyssey. The Great Butterfly Migration Before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content. As summer draws to a close, the monarch butterflies gather in a lush milkweed field, preparing for their incredible journey. But how do they know where to go? These butterflies have an extraordinary ability to sense environmental cues. They are finely tuned to the changing conditions around them. They sense the subtle shifts in temperature, the waning of daylight, and the slight changes in the angle of the sun. These cues signal to the monarchs that it's time to begin their journey. But how does a butterfly become a butterfly in the first place? Their journey commences with a story of metamorphosis, one of nature's most captivating transformations. The butterfly, a creature of astonishing transformation. From lowly caterpillars, they undergo a remarkable metamorphosis into exquisite butterflies. Let's delve deeper into the extraordinary transformation of butterflies. It all begins with a minuscule egg, laid delicately on the leaf of a milkweed plant. As she hatched, she emerged as a hungry caterpillar, no larger than a grain of rice. These humble creatures start their lives by voraciously munching on leaves, growing and preparing for the dramatic changes ahead. They are the embodiment of nature's tenacity and adaptation. Her days are spent ravenously munching non-stop on the tender green leaves, fueling herself for the incredible transformation that lay ahead. As they grow, caterpillars periodically shed their exoskeletons, revealing a new, larger one underneath. This process of mutation is called molting. With each passing day, the caterpillar grows, molting several times and shedding her old skin in the process. This is done to accommodate her ever-expanding body. This will continue until she reaches a specific size. Now her once tiny frame now radiates a vibrant stripes of green, yellow and black. Now the world around her seems larger as she ventures further from her leafy home. As the caterpillar continued to feed and grow, she felt an inexplicable urge to find a safe place to rest. Guided by an innate instinct, she climbed the milkweed plant's stem, searching for the perfect spot. There, she attached herself firmly with a silken thread, preparing for her next remarkable transformation. The next step is equally as mesmerizing. The caterpillar begins to spin a silk thread, meticulously crafting a chrysalis or pupa, which will serve as its protective cocoon during the transformative weeks ahead. The caterpillar's body begins to change. She wove a silky protective casing around herself, creating a beautiful, jade-colored chrysalis. Inside this seemingly lifeless shell, an astonishing metamorphosis unfolded. She breaks down her own body into a biological soup, a mixture of cells that would serve as the raw materials for her rebirth. Within this seemingly lifeless cocoon, a remarkable process unfolds. The caterpillar's body undergoes a complete transfiguration, 
in order words, an overhaul, breaking down its tissues and reassembling them into an entirely new form. This process is known as metamorphosis, a word that aptly captures its profound significance. Days turned into weeks, and inside the chrysalis, Luna's cells begins to reorganize and take shape. Her once plump and segmented body is now becoming something entirely new, a butterfly. A miracle of nature is now taking place as wings formed, antennae developed, and her once crawling existence transitioned into one designed for flight. Finally, after days or weeks, the chrysalis splits open, revealing the butterfly within. This moment of emergence is nothing short of breathtaking, as the butterfly unfolds its delicate wings, ready to take its first flight. And there you have it, the culmination of this astonishing transformation, the emergence of a fully formed butterfly. From humble beginnings as a voracious caterpillar, it will now takes to the skies as a graceful, colorful creature, embodying the miracle of nature's life cycles. But wait a minute, you really haven't seen nothing yet. The real magic unfolds when they finally take to the skies. Meet the iconic monarch butterfly, a species that embarks on an incredible journey spanning thousands of miles. They're known for their extraordinary migration from North America to Mexico, a journey that can span generations. With grace reminiscent of a majestic F-16 aircraft taking off from a battleship, the monarch butterfly embarked on its journey, fluttering away from the vessel with a delicate yet determined ascent like a skilled fighter pilot navigating through enemy territory. These exquisite creatures embark on a mission that spans thousands of miles, akin to flying a tactical wartime aircraft through hostile skies. Their migration route resembles a strategic flight plan, meticulously charted from North America to the mountains of Mexico. This journey is fraught with danger, just like a wartime mission deep behind enemy lines. They must evade not only the turbulent weather systems that could be likened to aerial combat, but also relentless predators that stalk them like enemy fighters. In flight, the monarch butterflies display an unmatched agility and determination, darting and weaving through the challenges that nature hurls their way, much like skilled pilots evading enemy fire. In this segment, we'll witness the incredible journey of these fragile butterflies as they face a multitude of challenges, from towering mountains to vast deserts, from ferocious storms to predatory birds. The trials they endure are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Imagine being a delicate creature weighing mere grams, with wings as thin as tissue paper, and embarking on a journey through unforgiving weather systems. The butterflies must navigate through rain, wind, and even hurricanes, displaying a tenacity that defies their fragility. And then there's the terrain. Their journey takes them across challenging landscapes, from dense forests to arid deserts. For the monarch butterfly, this bewildering journey is not without peril. These fragile insects must navigate fierce storms, predatory birds, and treacherous terrain. Yet, they persevere with a resilience that's nothing short of remarkable. The skies are not always a sanctuary. For these butterflies, the open air can be a battleground. Predatory birds, like swallows and nighthawks, often see these migratory swarms as a feast. Yet, the butterflies' collective intelligence and agility allow them to outmaneuver their avian adversaries. They must find sustenance along the way, nectar-rich flowers that serve as fuel for their journey. This quest for nourishment in hostile environments is a testament to their unyielding determination. They press on, resilient and unwavering, embodying the spirit of wartime aviators who push the boundaries of what's possible. And just as a pilot celebrates a successful mission, 
The monarch butterflies find their reward in the lush forests of Mexico, where they congregate in victory. Through it all, they persevere with a resilience that's nothing short of remarkable. They've evolved over millions of years to adapt to these conditions, and their ability to overcome the elements is a testament to the enduring spirit of nature. We delve into the science behind this phenomenon. How do these butterflies know where to go? What drives their migratory instincts? Leading scientists share their insights into the fascinating world of butterfly navigation. Hi, my name is Miriam Schratweiser and I'm an entomologist. Entomology is a branch of biology that focuses on the taxonomy, physiology, behavior, ecology, and evolution of insects. Primarily, my research and expertise contribute to the investigation, conservation, communication, physiology, chemical adaptation, and behaviors of insects in the natural world and overall ecosystem. I'll attempt to provide you with some key factors that help monarch butterflies know where to go. Recent research suggests that monarchs may have the ability to detect and use Earth's magnetic field for navigation. This could serve as an additional navigational cue, especially on cloudy or overcast days when the sun is not visible. Monarchs are believed to use prominent landmarks, such as mountain ranges, rivers, and coastlines, to orient themselves during their migration. They may have an innate sense of these geographical features, helping them stay on course. It's believed that monarchs have a genetic predisposition for their migration route. Each generation of monarchs follows a similar path, even though individual butterflies have never made the journey before. This suggests that there is a genetic component to their navigational behavior. Monarch butterflies possess a remarkable ability to navigate their long migrations, covering thousands of miles across North America. While the exact mechanisms are not fully understood, scientists believe that monarchs use a combination of environmental cues and innate behaviors to find their way. Sun compass. Monarchs are known to use the position of the sun in the sky as a compass. They have specialized receptors in their eyes that can detect the angle and intensity of sunlight. By continuously adjusting their flight direction to keep the sun at a consistent angle, they can maintain a relatively straight course. Time Compensation Monarchs also possess an internal clock that helps them compensate for the changing position of the sun throughout the day. This time compensation allows them to maintain their flight direction even as the sun moves across the sky. Magnetic field perception. Recent research suggests that monarchs may have the ability to detect and use Earth's magnetic field for navigation. This could serve as an additional navigational cue especially on cloudy or overcast days when the sun is not visible. Landmarks. Monarchs are believed to use prominent landmarks, such as mountain ranges, rivers, and coastlines, to orient themselves during their migration. They may have an innate sense of these geographical features, helping them stay on course. Inherited behavior. It's believed that monarchs have a genetic predisposition for their migration route. Each generation of monarchs follows a similar path, even though individual butterflies have never made the journey before. This suggests that there is a genetic component to their navigational behavior. Social learning. Monarchs may also benefit from social learning. Older, more experienced butterflies might pass on navigational knowledge to younger generations, helping them find their way. It's important to note that while these mechanisms have been proposed, the exact details of how monarch butterflies navigate during migration are still a subject of ongoing research. Their ability to undertake this incredible journey remains a marvel of the natural world, and scientists continue to study these butterflies to gain deeper insights into their navigational abilities. Monarch butterflies possess a remarkable ability to navigate their long migrations, covering thousands of miles across North America. While the exact mechanisms are not fully understood, 
Scientists believe that monarchs use a combination of environmental cues and innate behaviors to find their way. Here are some of the key factors that help monarch butterflies know where to go. Sun compass. Monarchs are known to use the position of the sun in the sky as a compass. They have specialized receptors in their eyes that can detect the angle and intensity of sunlight. By continuously adjusting their flight direction to keep the sun at a consistent angle, they can maintain a relatively straight course. Time compensation. Monarchs also possess an internal clock that helps them compensate for the changing position of the sun throughout the day. This time compensation allows them to maintain their flight direction even as the sun moves across the sky. Magnetic field perception. Recent research suggests that monarchs may have the ability to detect and use Earth's magnetic field for navigation. This could serve as an additional navigational cue, especially on cloudy or overcast days when the sun is not visible. Landmarks. Monarchs are believed to use prominent landmarks, such as mountain ranges, rivers and coastlines, to orient themselves during their migration. They may have an innate sense of these geographical features, helping them stay on course. Inherited behavior. It's believed that monarchs have a genetic predisposition for their migration route. Each generation of monarchs follows a similar path, even though individual butterflies have never made the journey before. This suggests that there is a genetic component to their navigational behavior. Social learning. Monarchs may also benefit from social learning. Older, more experienced butterflies might pass on navigational knowledge to younger generations, helping them find their way. It's important to note that while these mechanisms have been proposed, the exact details of how monarch butterflies navigate during migration are still a subject of ongoing research. Their ability to undertake this incredible journey remains a marvel of the natural world, and scientists continue to study these butterflies to gain deeper insights into their navigational abilities. While the monarch takes the spotlight, there are countless other butterfly species that partake in their own astonishing migrations. We explore the lesser-known but equally captivating journeys of species like the Painted Lady and the Red Admiral. The butterfly migration is not just a spectacle, it's also a fragile balance. Learn how conservationists and communities are coming together to protect the vital habitats these butterflies depend on and ensure their survival for generations to come. So viewers, what can we do to help protect monarch butterfly conservation and habitat? Protecting monarch butterflies and their habitat is crucial to ensure the survival of this iconic species. Here are several actions you can take to help with monarch butterfly conservation. Monarch caterpillars rely on milkweed plants as their primary food source. Planting native milkweed species in your garden or on your property provides essential breeding and feeding habitat for monarchs. Additionally, Include a variety of nectar-rich native wildflowers to provide food for adult butterflies. Design and certify your garden or outdoor space as a monarch way station through programs like Monarch Watch. These designated areas provide critical resources for monarchs during their migrations. Minimize or eliminate the use of pesticides and herbicides in your garden. These chemicals can be harmful to monarch butterflies at all stages of their life cycle. Support efforts to conserve the overwintering sites in Mexico, where millions of monarchs cluster during the winter months. These areas need protection from logging and habitat destruction. Learn more about monarch butterflies and their conservation needs. Share this knowledge with your community friends and family to raise awareness about the species and its challenges. Contribute to monarch research and monitoring by participating in citizen science projects. You can report monarch sightings and help scientists track their populations and migrations. 
Support policies and initiatives that promote habitat conservation, such as the establishment of monarch butterfly corridors and protected areas. Donate to or volunteer with organizations dedicated to monarch butterfly conservation, such as Monarch Watch, the Xerces Society, and the National Wildlife Federation. Advocate for sustainable farming practices that minimize habitat destruction and pesticide use in agricultural landscapes, as this can greatly impact monarch habitat. Encourage schools, community groups, and local businesses to participate in monarch-friendly activities like planting butterfly gardens and organizing educational events. Join or support local habitat restoration efforts in your area. Many organizations work to restore monarch-friendly landscapes in parks, nature reserves, and other communal spaces. Engage with and support government and conservation agencies' efforts to protect monarch butterflies. These organizations often implement large-scale initiatives aimed at monarch habitat restoration. By taking these actions, you can contribute to the preservation of monarch butterflies and their incredible migration while also promoting biodiversity and conservation in your community. As we reach the climax of our journey, we witness the grand finale, the awe-inspiring congregation of millions of butterflies. This is nature's ballet, a symphony of colors, and a true testament to the magic of migration. In this short 45-minute glimpse into their world, we've uncovered the wonder, the science, and the significance of the butterfly migration. These fragile creatures, with their delicate wings, have shown us that even the smallest among us can undertake the greatest journeys. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable adventure with Wings of Wonder. The Great Butterfly Migration May the beauty of their migration inspire us all to protect the natural world and its incredible inhabitants.